everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video i trust and hope that you're doing well and we're going to be talking about what is going on across the north atlantic basin so we're looking at these satellite imagery here we have what's left of milton so milton made landfall as a category three major hurricane in florida and has moved out since and there you can see the remnants of it and that could influence the weather for bermuda but We've also got Tropical Storm Leslie out there. Leslie is a weakening system and there is an invest area to be watched. So that is off of the African coast, just in the vicinity of the Cabo Verde Islands. And we really want to watch this for not even for the short term, but for later down, because models have been showing something quite interesting with it, which I'll be uh, showing you guys as well. So as we zoom into the Caribbean, though, there isn't a major system influencing the weather, but there are a couple blobs, showers and thunderstorms this morning. So Let's look at the rainfall forecast, though. Nothing crazy is expected across the entirety of the region, but there could be some showers around for parts of Cuba, Jamaica, even headed to Hispaniola, especially for Haiti. And in the vicinity of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and even for Florida as well, we're seeing a bit of color, and there could be some scattered showers and thunderstorms around. However, for the Cayman Islands, headed to the vicinity of the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico, and much of the Leeward Islands, we're not really seeing much color at all. So it's likely to be a pretty sunny day today. Perfect day for going to the beach. Then as we head further south, though, going towards the Windward Islands, including uh, Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, there could be some scattered showers and thunderstorms around. ABC Islands, there could be some showers nearby as well. And for Northern South America, it may be a little bit active. As we head towards the vicinity of Central America, especially Southern Central America, we see a lot more color. We see some of these burgundy shadings and even those purples popping up. Rainfall amounts probably going up to two and a half or even three inches as we head throughout today. So that could even result in some instances of flooding. But then further north, headed to parts of the Yucatan Peninsula, going to Belize, uh, even for Guatemala, a few spots in Honduras and El Salvador as well. There may not be as much rainfall activity today. So that's what's going on in terms of the rainfall forecast for the Caribbean. And so now we want to talk more about the uh, disturbance off of the African coast. And we also want to talk about the West Caribbean because there have been some trends where development is also expected in the West Caribbean over the course of the next several days. So let's first look at the ensemble members and we're kickstarting that with the Euro model. So this goes all the way out to 10 days 10 days out from now and we can see that there is decent agreement about development within the vicinity of the caribbean or maybe near the caribbean so we can see these tracks for the uh invest area invest 94 l moving up to the northwest and then moving off to the west and we have some of these members taking the system in the Caribbean, some of them having it very close, some of them showing that it could go just north of the Caribbean while developing into something. And we also see another set of members for that next potential system coming from the Western Caribbean. As we look at the GFS members, we can see something a bit similar here. We see some of these tracks taking the system uh, into the Caribbean, some of them taking it just north and towards the vicinity of the Bahamas. But we see a greater agreement of members uh, for that next system in the Western Caribbean. So GFS has been quite consistent about that. And even as we take a look at the uh, some of the model runs, let's go on to that. So... The green shadings are indicative of the precipitation rate, the uh, where we have a lot of moisture. And then we have these black squiggly lines called isobars. They join areas of equal atmospheric pressure. Now, as we're going to be headed into Friday, the 18th of October, that's a week out from now, we can see all this moisture around within the vicinity of the Caribbean and that area of low pressure. Uh, GFS is showing what would equate to a hurricane in the southwestern Caribbean, just offshore Central America also that frontal system and what is likely invest 94 l approaching the region as well as for euro euro is not showing much development in the west caribbean is definitely showing an increase in moisture but not showing a concrete system but then as we're going to be heading into friday evening of next week there it is definitely showing that area of low pressure maybe a tropical depression or storm just north of the caribbean and then as for the icon model icon is not expected much development 
of the uh, invest area 94 l as it approaches but it is hinted at that western caribbean system we can see all that increase in moisture and that area of low pressure forming so there is certainly some agreement about at least one of these systems developing either that airflow pressure to form in the west caribbean or the current invest so the invest it has a medium 40 percent formation chance but uh, in terms of actually seeing development of it it could become a short-lived system um, maybe within the coming few days but it's really as it is going to be making its way closer and closer to the vicinity of the caribbean going further and further west when it could encounter some more favorable conditions because after the next few days as it moves across the tropical atlantic conditions are likely to be quite unfavorable so nothing is set in stone right now and we're about to see some more changes as it relates to the model runs because we're still some time out from this system so we'll see what happens with it and of course i'm here to keep you guys posted as per usual so that is essentially what i wanted to share with you in this update video and i do hope you found it to be quite informative however if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i can and remember to always be otherwise